Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, our precious pack, and welcome back once more to World of Tanks. Today is more of a casual video, and it's in one of my, um... It's one of my more enjoyable light tanks, despite the fact that I don't have a high win ratio, and I typically don't have any negative views about the tank. It's kind of like my meal, 1941, 1951. Whenever I have a bad match in it, it it's never that bad. Because I might get ammo racked or something like that, but I still got to bum it around in a very small heavy tank. And this is kind of the same thing. I bum it around in a light tank that's more that weighs more like a medium tank, has a turret of more like a heavy tank. And, I mean, it's just... I could shove anyone out of the way that I want to, and they couldn't stop me, basically, because of it. I mean, 30 tons, 1,000 horsepower engine. Anything you want to do, you can do, basically. Now, the point of this is... It's an enjoyable tank to goof around in. And when you want to ram somebody, you can get away with it. Unless it's a super heavy or anything like that that's just extremely heavy. But if it's another medium tank, with the exception of the E-50 and the Centurions, have fun with that. Especially if it's the Bat Chat. Because the poor little thing weighs less than you, so... You ram it, you're always going to do more damage. And right here what I was doing was I didn't want to go up because I had no idea if the artillery was looking my way again. I mean, they have three of them. My team had three, but we lost one. I didn't even realize we lost one during the match. I don't know what happened. But this is one of the reasons why I carry high explosive. First off, the number of rounds that I carry for high explosive is exactly 20% of the tens digit number. So if it's 20, I'm going to be carrying 4 rounds of high explosive. If it's 40, I'm going to be carrying 8 rounds. If it's higher than that, I'm going to be carrying more. Now, every now and then I do round them up because I have decent matches with high explosive. This is one of those matches. <laughs> the high explosive is rated for, I believe, 4... 480? And that was a 568 roll. And I mean, the gun's normal alpha damage is only... 3... 390? I'm just trying to remember that it, it's a light tank. And most of them have lower alpha, with the exception of the Sheridan. The AMX 105, the 13 105. This little guy. And the Manticore. I'm sorry, it never fails to amuse me when I throw high explosives or something it goes through. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to actually track them, because I've actually completed the other portion of the mission where I had to allow an enemy to be... where I had to allow an ally to be damaged. No, allow it in the air. Say hello to my tired mind where it confuses an ally and an enemy. Apparently I want my allies to be damaged because of me. But what I need to do is I need to track them, and then they need, the enemy needs to be hit by an ally. That's exactly what I was aiming for, so I load the high explosive and I just start slinging away. And that T-57 Heavy, he's all alone over there against each and every single one of those vehicles. And instead of rushing him, they all go one at a time, allowing him to do things like, well, what you're witnessing now. With the assistance of artillery as well. And boom. Mission complete, just like that. Now, if I get lucky and someone destroys a tank, I will complete the mission with honors. And this is just a casual match. I wasn't aiming to win. I wasn't aiming to do anything big. I just wanted to play one more match before I ended my day and went to sleep. Yeah, well, I completed the mission with honors because you see that one right there? This track's still off, as I just found out, as the damage starts racking up. Mission complete. <laughs> yes, that just happened. You just watched him disappear in a matter of seconds. Oh, and the match? It's over. It was only like a five-minute match, and I mean, as you can see, it went quickly. I mean, I've had matches where it's happened to me where it's just over in a matter of minutes, and you just can't fight back, really. 
But every now and then I'll make a video like this where it's just meant to be more or less just a quick little video. And it's just being published while I actually take care of some more stuff relating to Vega. Got a concept idea planned for Friday, so looking forward to that. But that's going to be it, my pack. Be safe out there, my pack. Happy hunting, and as always, I'll see you later.